welcome back. Welcome back to this uh, Freaky Friday edition of Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. I'm John Tobacco, and the studio is just bustling with energy today. Uh, Elena Servideo Schwinn, our uh, in-house medium and uh, sorceress, was just here, and she's got the energy in the room at the highest of levels. And when you get there, you can only bring in more energy. You can't throw any cold water on it at all. So we bring in today, joining us again, Pavlina Osta. She is a uh, Generation Z uh, social commentator. She's a uh, producer, of course, with uh, Salem Media and Mike Gallagher show. And now the host of a new podcast. And as well. now yes. the host of your own podcast. I know, so, John. You need to come on. I know Frank's coming on. I'm it's excited. gonna be a party. <clears throat> it's gonna be a good time. So, Pavlina, this um, this new generation. You know, my daughters, Victoria and Ava, are 20 and 17. Yeah. They're kind of like in this generation. Uh, and you mentioned it before, but you know, it's the generation of anxiety. The slightest things like drive them crazy. Yeah, and millennials are known for <clears> this, but especially Generation Zs. We were the generation that grew up, you know, with the helmets and the padded elbows and the wrap in the bubble wrap. Our parents, you know, we had the, the seat belt. It was just like this generation that was coddled, really. You know what I mean? Like the helicopter uh, parent term was coined, you know, for our generation. Everybody started so, popping up with these peanut allergies. Yeah, now everyone's gluten free. <laughs> Free, yeah. vegan free. We, right. I, I like so we're very like cautious. We're very like scared to you know to try different things. It's just like very cautious and anxiety driven generation. So it's interesting. So is there a uh, generational angst that guys like Frank and I didn't have to experience? I think so. And it's funny. I was I was talking to someone about it recently where like our generation hasn't really had to go through anything you know what I mean there was never any kind of economical crisis there was never any war that has happened like we've had it pretty good you know so I think well, we generate our own. there have certainly been some wars which no, is well, right. not, not like, along yeah. the magnitude of right. yes. World War II Correct. or something like exactly. that. So Pavlina how does this um, <clears throat> manifest itself when it comes to investing? What are millennial investors doing differently than say baby boomers or Gen Xers? Right well I think a big thing that you know like we were talking about with the caution generation is they they have seen and they've, you know, kind of grew up with uh, being afraid of having an economical crisis or something, so they were afraid of where they were going to put their money. And I think that's kind of what this generation is looking at. They're kind of like, oh, well, that's why they like apps like Robinhood or, you know, like there's different financial apps because they think that they can trust it. But I think they're a little cautious when it comes to the stock exchange and where they want to put their money. So. Um these like apps like Eggcorns and right. and and uh, Wisdom Tree and Robin Hood. Um, what makes them? What make? Because those those have been blowing up from younger people. Yeah. Um, trade for free. Trade for as little as you know ten or twenty bucks. But what makes them feel safe there? I think they feel safer with it because they they have like control in a sense you know what I mean there's kind of like okay like I can see this I don't think that there's you know like this broker that's just trying to take all my money or whatever and I think they have they just feel safer within the app you know like they kind of can monitor everything more got it yeah. so um Frankie, uh, you've been petrified to invest. No, you. well, I mean, I don't have any money. I have thirty-eight thousand dollars worth of credit card debt. I mean, I have uh, investments in my retirement accounts. You have that's college about it. Uh, student loans, also? Uh, no, I did until a month ago, but I paid Yay. off my two hundred dollars. But in typical Frank Morano fashion, this I, this was a loan I took out for um, classes that I never actually attended. Uh, so I you didn't even go to the classes. No, here's what happened. So I. Uh, entered graduate school, right, and then uh, took out a big loan to go to graduate school, and then I just stopped paying tuition and stopped attending class. Uh, didn't hilarious. formally. I think I might technically still be enrolled. If anyone at New York University is watching, please feel free to let me know if I'm still, you know, enrolled. But, so you um, are a beauty school dropout. Exactly. I'm a grad school hilarious. dropout. Oh, right. Okay. Um, we should so make that song parody. How can we should? Grad how can dropout. people listen to your podcast, and what kind of issues do you cover on it briefly? Yeah. So my podcast is called If God Had a Podcast, and it's all over Stitcher, um, iTunes, Spotify, it's where everything, wherever you can find a podcast, and it's basically to make you to make you a better us. So I want people to be informed by different thought leaders, either on, we talked to a futurist, I talked to a confidence creator, um, I talked yesterday to uh, Dr. Bella DePaulo, who um, is a singles, 
like she tells you why it's better to be single rather than getting married. Mm. So it's interesting. Yeah, that's a podcast I want to listen yeah. to. Yeah, <laughs> It'll be fun. I, I don't even know what some of those things were. That's yeah. just how far out of Generation Z I am. We have a futurist, have a confidence yes. coach, or, uh, all these things were like my right, you aunt Jeannie a, and yeah. uh, my my <laughs> grandmother. That was my confidence coach and my uh, futurist. But uh, yes. I think we all probably learn one common thing. You know, work hard, respect your country, respect your family. Um, so sure. that kind of goes across all age barriers. But uh, we're going to come back. We're going to start figuring out how we can give you guys some more advice to feel safe. But I yeah. want to thank you for being here. You thank stay you. right there.